Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully, I don't die a horrible death in the game. I mean, I don't want to die a horrible death at all, but like, team, sound I am talking Echo about one, the game. All systems nominal. Echo two, good to oh, go. Okay. Echo three, systems good. What am I locked onto? Is it the engine? I do need to blow those up. Okay. Getting too close, getting too close. Ah, something shoot me. Change of plans. Destroy Deceric. That'll make boarding her a whole lot easier. Noble 6, and marking targets. Take out the Corvette's main engines. I would do that once I get rid of this stupid Seraph. Seraph twerp. It was annoying me. At least I get this UI, the mission. Better than nothing. That's attacking the Seraph, isn't it? I don't want you to attack the Seraph. I want to attack the engine. Alright, I'm gonna boost, but I'm actually gonna boost in this direction. I didn't even destroy that second engine. Ugh. Annoying. I'm trying to keep spamming this until it works. There we go! Corvette engines damaged. Energy flares detected in the Corvette's aft launch base. Heads up, Sabres. Multiple impulse drive signatures detected. What oh, are those? Four I can't tell from a distance. That's a Seraph. Where are the reinforcements coming from? I thought the target was jammed. There must be squadrons coming back from patrol, I go to. Don't let any of them get away, Sabres. Kill them before they bug out and warn that supercarrier what we're up to. Uh, that's the, um... The drop pods. I wonder if hitting those can kill you. Like, just in general, I'm not gonna test this theory, but like, I am curious. That's gonna drop some guys, so I gotta be weary of that. I don't wanna be there when they spawn. Ah, uh, I guess they're gone. That looks like, oh, that's a banshee, or a uh, seraph, not a banshee. Oh, his shields are already down. That's fast. That's fast, my guy. Yeah, I don't want to start screwing around, turning around under the Corvette. That sounds like a bad idea, so I'm just going to boost ahead and round about from hitting the border. It's another Seraph. Oh, that's attack this Seraph. It's much closer to me and it's gonna be easier to hit because of the Okay, that was getting too close for comfort. It looks like that Seraph was preparing to dodge, but it didn't know if it should try to dodge me or the bullets that were being fired at. So it just kinda started flinging itself around. A dead Seraph is a good Seraph. Oh, oh, for a second I thought it started getting really close and I got all worried. Okay. Let's turn left. Dot, analyze all available data on that Oh, wait, did we get them all? Scans indicate a I guess we did, I didn't even realize it. Top of the vessel. Noble Six, set down immediately cool. on that Corvette's topside landing pad. Cool. Now for what is probably, albeit, oh, I was gonna say the hardest part because I thought I was actually gonna have to get close. Uh, not really. It kind of does the rest for me. Okay. Good news so far. Didn't die in the first five. Well, they still got uh, like a few seconds to go. I probably will not die in the first like five minutes of the next. Uh, what was intended to be the next episode, I should say. Um, 
and I, of course, still have my sword, won't work forever. and I right also still inside, have drop shield. Permanently disable that cruiser's communications. As soon as we're sure the Corvette can't squawk, we'll initiate uppercut phase two. Is that what I thought it was? Was that an elite who just decided to chill up out down there? Ah, uh, that's kind of rude. Yeah, it was. So the good thing about this is this weapon is strictly better. I mean, it puts me in a better state. It, um... It makes me stronger overall. It helps with black eye. Cause I get melee kills more easily. There's surely another air assault guy. Like, it's not the only one, right? Well, let me test something. I want to see if that goes through. No, it doesn't. Okay. So it's only me. There is a disadvantage being out here, and it's lack of sound cues. I wish I could see. There he is. Death. Death. We haul into Savannah. Enemy comm relay is now offline. Copy that. Halting countermeasures, diverting all power and personnel to weapons. I don't have to worry about it running Let's out of ammunition, so this is board. pretty much strictly better, and I've got a scratch on my face and I've got to itch it. At this Get point, if I die, I will probably reroll scrolls or schools, because it's at this point where my death is probably more relevant General, to a the skill issue five, than meet them there. just being stupid. Affirmative. On approach. Because, like, although I didn't know colliding with a ship and would kill me, it kind of, I feel like it should have been kind of obvious. Also, I cannot hit that engineer. I'm just going to kind of have to deal with his existence. Because there's no world where I kill that engineer. I don't know if blowing those up does anything. I sincerely doubt it, but you know what? I'll try it. It's not like I got anything to lose. Not while I'm out here hanging from a, hanging from a distance. Dang, that's actually kind of hard to destroy. It's not going the way I thought it would. Alright, well, I'll just say screw it then and just... I felt a vibration and I thought I got meleeed. But I didn't. I'm like mighty confused. I'm not actually sure it happened. Okay, where, where are some easy targets? Because if I don't... If I play stupid, I will die. Okay. This is scaring me because their melees might be lethal. Okay, okay, if I didn't get hit by that guy's melee. Alright, I'm gonna do this in case I've lost health. Okay. Okay. That was scary. But I am not dead. <sighs> okay. I'm wondering if I should have taken armor lock. I, I still feel like this was the right move, but now I'm thinking perhaps not. I'm still leaning towards it, though. I feel like healing is more useful overall, especially because it does still offer me protection against projectiles. It's not like it's useless outside of healing. Okay. 
Are there any other enemies? Other than the engineer? I guess not, because the engineer is going up into the hole. Got another itch. Got a... Couldn't, can't live with my itch, I guess. I'm just gonna keep doing that. At this point, Six, I'm just doing it for the fun of it. Shield controls. I need in. Uh, is this it? What are the shield controls? Uh, I guess that counted. Because, uh... Like, that looks like it. Okay, things are going well so far. Honestly, I thought this level was going to be a pain, especially with the all schools thing. Um, I don't want to speak too soon, because if I die, I'm going to lose a lot of progress. Gotta get you the but Copy even that. then, Six. I can still say get your fire well team to the bridge. So. The Corvette's refueling run, but the super carrier will have to be initiated manually. Yes, sir. Five, yes, sir. stay with the bomb and discourage the curious. My pleasure. Hear that, Lieutenant? I'll be all by my lonesome back here. Make it quick, would ya? Psh! Jorge, he'll be fine. No, you didn't get rid of my sword. Oh, okay, no, it just didn't show. I was gonna be upset. I don't need that. I already have. I appreciate it, but I literally have an endless supply. Also, most of them I cannot use. Kind of awkward, not very good. Having a sword is nice, mainly because of the melee, but like, I'm still probably going to rely on grenades mostly. I feel like overall that's still my best option. Okay, I got hit by something, so I'm a little weary, and I kind of want to rush in to get armor, but those are elite. So that seems like a bad idea. I don't want to be stupid. Oh, yeah, that probably. Oh, I only lost some shield? Really? I forgot that the drop shield has the added functionality of, uh, telling me what my, um, shield levels are at. No! I knew that was gonna happen, but there was no way for me to get out! Ah. Alright boys, I am doing a reroll. I am not sitting through that again. Absolutely not. All right, see you in a bit. Good news for moi, I only have black eye this time around. So, I, I think this is the run. I'm pretty confident that things are gonna go better this time. Of course, I don't have unlimited grenades anymore, but the thing is, I have checkpoints. That's the bit. And I also don't have to worry about enemies being, like, insanely hard to kill. So. This will probably be A-OK. -okay. Uh, so, yep. I'm so close. I'm so agitated, because I was so close. I was, I was so close. I definitely could have done it. Absolutely, I agree with that. But it wasn't worth it. It's not like it was, it wasn't worth doing. Also, woohoo, we can actually see the score again. I can see my health. Man, it feels like so long since I've actually seen the Reach UI. I don't actually know how long it's been, but it feels like it's been forever. Okay, with all those grenades, I would have thought that I had actually. I don't. I know I don't, but I would have thought that I did. Bonk. Bonk. Assassination! I feel less inclined to actually play smart because it's more fun not to and like I'm not in big threat of danger. Oh, I guess you have it, cat. Man, ruining my fun. How did that not count? I'm upset. I deserve that assassination, might I say. I like how this is already going leagues better. The irony 
Well, I guess it's not irony, but you could just tell I have nothing to fear. I'm running in. I'm ramming things. I'm snapping the necks of runts. YouTube's really not gonna like that. I probably could have assassinated that guy, but I didn't do it. Oh, now that could be a problem. You have perished. Um, so I probably still go for uh, the drop shield here. I think that's the right move. At the end of the day, it is a uh, pretty much instant heal, so it's very useful. And of course, I still take the sword too, but I'm not going to rely on it as much. Or maybe I should. Maybe I should just pull it out and use it, expend its uses. That might be a good idea. You are nothing, fool. I'm not in here, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Not a lot of weapons I can use. But at least there's a few. I'm trying to think. Obviously, energy sword, gravity hammer, and a uh, established target locator. I think that's it. I know the grenade launcher was kind of like a maybe. It was sort of like... That might count. It's unclear. But... This section sucks. I might... I'm wondering if I should just cut it. I mean, you know what I'm gonna do. You know what's gonna happen. But I, I won't. I mean, we're doing a gameplay. It kind of defeats the whole challenge part. Though. That's the thing. Yeah, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna make the executive decision and cut this because I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and say nobody cares. Like, at least last time I had a lot of scores on, so there was some incentive. But... Not here. Not here. Nobody cares about this. So we're just gonna we're gonna skip this. When we come back I'll be in the Corvette. So Woohoo. Welcome back. Did you miss me? Uh well, I missed you. And by that I mainly mean uh I'm done. Uh, but I didn't miss you because you guys gave me a boost. Am I gonna keep bringing that up? Probably not. Uh if if you were worried about that, don't worry, you know. I probably won't. Because I, I'm evil. I don't care about any of you. Uh, I, I, I despise humanity. And I'm only doing this for attention. Well, I mean, actually, Noble technically. Six. The Savannah's countermeasures well, won't work for us. Find a way inside, was inside was and permanently to disable that time cruiser's management. communications. I wanted to practice as soon my as time sure the Corvette can't squat, but we'll obviously, uppercut phase two. Uh, attention is a factor. I mean, literally, that is its function. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you like oh man no that wasn't even in my consideration yes it was you all know it was uh we're not gonna pretend like it's not yes it was a factor it wasn't my main motivator but it was a factor and i'm also not gonna sit here and pretend like i uh know you all personally i don't we're complete strangers probably maybe a select few of you might actually know who i am and Vice versa. For the Enemy most part, we're just strangers. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's the way this relationship would be. All right, but Noble. strangers or not, I appreciate the support Six. I have received. Head for the hangar. So that's that. I guess I just uh, keep going. Don't stop. Almost threw a grenade there, thinking I had an unlimited supply. I don't. Colonel, on our way to the hangar. Hey, Noble Five, meet him there. Affirmative. On approach. Okay. I think this is a good part to use my sword. Well, maybe not. I was thinking because the grunts will have shields, but well, their shields could literally just turn off at any moment. So, in that specific instance, we would not want to have the shield up. Ooh, hey. Um. Oh, I was really hoping I'd just get to blow that up. I did not, though.
Is that um? Next nap. Allow me to heal. Recovery. That is a corpse. And that is an elite whose flesh I shall demolish. If you would stop running away like a freaking coward. Thank you. Your flesh has now been demolished. Six, go for those shield controls. I need in. Look how much faster I'm doing this now that I'm not a blithering idiot. Global six, get that Corvette moving toward the supercarrier. Head for the bridge. Find the map controls. Got many of arms and ammo. Proceed to the bridge. Oh. They perish. Almost out of energy sport. Very sad. Might cry, probably So I could cry though. It does make me sad. I'm sad. I'll cry when I lose this sword. Hey guys, watch this. Bonk. Stabby, stabby. I'll be honest, um, I don't actually like much how the inside tech looks in Reach. Like, it's not terrible, but I wouldn't say it's not faithful, but I, I preferred it simpler. I think it looks better simpler than it does complicated. Well, normally I would have used a sword against the elite, but because I already knocked your shield down and you snuck up on me, I, uh, I, I would not. Now this is out of ammo. Still active though, I'm assuming that's a visual bug on an MCC. Yeah. I don't know, maybe it's not a bug, maybe it's an intentional thing, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to fade away. Maybe I'm wrong though, I'm not, I'm not psychic. It does seem to have better range, so there is actually Move function to be keeping the sword, Corvette even though it's, you know, out of ammo. Let me test it, let me switch. Switch, pull out. I feel like it's supposed to pop out though, so it just makes me think it's still out of ammo. I know if I switch though, it'll disappear, so I can't use that as a test. Well done, Noble Six. Upper I also see that it's not doing the little electric thing that it does either, so maybe maybe Six. this is legit. I don't know. Get back to the hangar. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not gonna keep asking questions, I'm just going to kinda get on with it. Uh, I do not like the space section of the stage too much. I don't hate it, but like I'm not a fan of it. I don't tend to like it when games just have a, a different section much, which is ironic considering that like was I supposed to go in there? I guess I was. Uh, anyway, uh, my favorite franchise is Kirby, and they're actually pretty well known for doing this precise thing. Uh, like a lot of Kirby games have like a shoot 'em up section at the end. But honestly, I do prefer when they don't. Um, I just prefer like the base gameplay Any as it am. is. Um, and this is no different. But I do really like this end section of the stage. I think this is a very fun end. The beginning, I think, is okay. The middle isn't bad, but I just would rather play normal Halo gameplay. And the ending has got to be one of my favorite endings of a Halo mission. So I think this, I think this one's pretty fun overall. It's just got a bit of a rough start. But whatever. I don't know if that's a popular opinion or not. I really don't know how people think of these stages in general. So I'd be curious to to know. Maybe uh, you can comment your opinion down below. It's <laughs> me trying to get some responses. The comments have gotten to my ego. <laughs> I 
have become narcissists. Come at me. Come at me. That's the real reason the sword is still out, so I can do assassination with the sword and it doesn't disappear. Are we done? No, we're not done. I'm like, I thought that was way too soon. Guys, look! Ammunition! Is this count as shooting? Oh, that's sniper ammo. I thought that was Spartan Laser. That definitely counts as shooting. I feel like I would I would say a Spartan Laser counts as shooting, in my opinion. Uh, I would argue. Because it's just a laser. It's just you're shooting a laser. It's like a beam rifle still counts as shooting. Focus rifle still counts as shooting. I feel like Spartan Laser should do. Just plain and simple. I don't feel like it being a laser should make it not shoot. I don't think that really makes sense. I think it's... I think it shoots just like anything else. <laughs> Snap! <laughs> so I can still use the trigger, which makes me wonder if, like... It'll still do the lunch. No, it doesn't. I like how it counted that as an assassination, despite- Oh wait, no it didn't. Say game. I think we can all agree that was bullcrap, and that this video is getting a little on the lengthier side. But uh, you know what? We're already right at the end of the mission. I think it's better to just make this video longer than like have a little tidbit at the end. I don't know. That's how I think. Sorry about that. Got interrupted for a brief moment. No! My marine friends have perished! Well, except for Armstrong. I guess Armstrong is the GOAT. Literally. He's the only one that did not. That makes him the GOAT. He's the greatest marine of all time. Well, I mean, not technically. Technically, there's other marines who live. Like, uh, you know, the chief. But like in my squad, let's go Armstrong MVP. You're not Armstrong. Let's go Armstrong. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You're the best. And I think that's it for our mission. Guys, can, can, can we get a? I genuinely cannot think of like. Distance is closing on this vessel's like refueling trip with a Covenant supercarrier. 76 it. seconds to end point. That's so, mm, it's gonna mm. be like that. I think I just should have my speaking privileges well, revoked I've got for good news now. and bad news. <laughs> this bird took some fire and a thrust a gimbal is toast, which means the only way off this slag heap is gravity. And the good news? That was the good news. At current velocity, 53 seconds to end yeah, point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad news is, time is fried. I'm gonna have to fire it manually. That's a one-way trip. We all make it sooner or later. Better get going, Six. They're gonna need you down there. Listen, Reach has been good to me. Time has come to return the favor. Don't deny me this. I know that thing about reactions and being silent, but this is a very impactful scene and I'm pretty sure a total of zero people are going to care that I didn't contribute something to a cutscene that has been out for like, I actually I think it has been over a decade, maybe you're wrong. I want to say Reach came out in 2011? I'm going on a tangent. <laughs> but I think that's right. Uh, anyway. Yeah, I like... This is the main reason I love this game. The tension, the story, just the, the themes of the game as a whole are the main reason I like it. It's not 
my favorite mechanically. Uh, I do like Breach's multiplayer in Firefight a lot, but I think it has a weak sandbox, so that kind of kills it for me, especially in the campaign, but the story is very best. It really pulls me in the way to execute it, especially music. So that's why I I just looked down and thought that I had my mic off for a second, was about to panic. <laughs> I was like, did I have my mic off? No. No, you did not, Strawberry Lord. You were nice and clear. And that is the mission! We did it, boys! And girls, and uh, uh, Spartans, let's just go with that. <laughs> we did it. All right. Well, I'm terrible at outros, almost as bad at them as I am at intros. So uh, I'm just gonna leave you here to depart. Uh, yeah, I, I think that that about covers it. Woohoo! I didn't die this time. Thanks for watching.